Finally, you're awake. I was worried your restlessness was more than just a fever dream. It seems trouble has found us. We have to get ready. There were raiders coming up the road. They were carrying torches, so we spotted them. They saw a silhouette in the window. Now they're calling us out. Good plan. I'll try to get into a position around back. You watch the front. That's your call. The leader's positioned down the hill just behind cover. You can try to talk them down, or we can try and fight. Fault dwellers, we know you're all up there. Come on out now, we might let y'all live. I think that's our cue to respond. Set up along the door and see what you can do. I'm not going to give you much more of a chance, Vault Dwellers. If you don't come out, we're going to light this whole damn mountain on fire. You all know old Rossi's time is up. You done killed enough of my brothers, Rossi. This is your last stand, old man. Come on out and fight. Wise choice. Put away your weapon and come talk to me. Right here in the moonlight, where I can see you. So you're the one Nas told us to be on the lookout for. Boss had no idea that old vault was still up there. Shame it went the way it did. Now I'm only gonna ask you this once. Where is Dr. Rossman? Hmm, is that so? Now listen here, Pip. I've been hunting that savage nerd for ten years, and you're gonna tell me that jerk-off brag nailed him in one shot? Do you know how many of my men have shot Rosman and reported him dead? He always comes back. Always! Now where the hell is he? I want him dead. He's killed countless raiders over the years, cost us millions in damage and lost property. Most of our woes over the past 20 years have been directly related to him. Now you're gonna tell me everything I wanna know. Hmm, <laughs> good. Cause if Rosman ain't here, then I'll sure as hell come looking for you if you're missing. That'll lead him straight to us. Bag him! You, you really think this is the Vault Dweller? I know what I saw. This is the fucking one. Huh. They're awake. Finally. Hey, look at what we have here. Our little Vault Dweller is awake. Good morning, my friend. You've been busy, haven't you? Killing 30 of my men. That's very fucking brave of you. You must be some kind of badass. Huh? You know who those men had for a boss? Probably some psychotic raider warlord. You're right. They had me. And I have to say, as a warlord, I am very pissed off. But not by you. No, you don't make me mad. Or at least you haven't yet. I'm gonna give you a chance to piss me off in a second. But first, I want to say thank you. You took care of the trash for me. Those fucking Enclave bastards were ruining my operation. You killed a bunch of my expendable rejects, and you proved that my security team works. You know what I think? You are going to have a very bright future in our little company. Congratulations! You passed your first interview. I'm so fucking proud of you, sweetheart. I can't wait to start you killing people that aren't on my side. But you know what? You haven't passed the test for upper management yet. You haven't accepted the job from the big man. So, here's what we're going to do. I have questions, you have answers. You give me what I want, and then I send you to take the test. Ah! How does that sound to you? Who am I? Who do you think, huh? You lived in that hole with the Wasteland Scouts for, what, 20 years? And you never even mentioned me. That fucking hurts, kid. I am Els Dragon. I'm old Doc Rossman's arch-nemesis. I'm like his 
General Zod from that old comic book, remember? Like you, Rossman took a lot from me. He took my family, he took my boss, my money, my home. Do you know what that does to a man? It makes him grow up mean. So you and me, I'm going to consider us enemies until you turn to the dark side and serve me. Haha, <laughs> maybe so, my lucky friend. I'm going to give you your very own raider name. Your new name is Jack. Don't you like it? It's fitting, no? Jack the Killer. Maybe that's what they'll call you if you don't die in the abyss. Oh, you better believe it's inspired. It came from the divine Els Dragon, your god. <laughs> Listen to me. I've been driven to fucking blasphemy, Jesus. I'm so sorry. You must be so confused. Go on and ask me, what is the test I have set up for you? See, we're going to get along just fine. This test I have for you is right below your feet. That big fucking hole, that's the abyss. Decades ago, we caught ourselves our very own super mutant slaves and put them to work. But then, our big one got something in his head. Some new idea formed in that itty-bitty brain of his. And now, he's out of control. You, my friend, are going down to level 27 alone. And you're going to put him back in his place. Your fists. <laughs> you think you get to keep all the shit you walked in here with, huh? Well, that's funny, murder face. You're good for a laugh. You, amigo, are my slave. You went and got yourself captured. Now, you're fucked. Actually, no. You're working your way back up to fucked. Right now, you're dead. You'll get your shit back when you prove your worth to me on your own. Because you see, I don't need your toys. I need men. And you, little boy, you are not even worth one man in my eyes. Not yet. When you get back up here again, maybe you'll earn your shit back. Oh, <laughs> you like to use big words. Maybe Brainiac was a better name for you. Okay, then. Murderface, you have my blessings. Here is the brick ton of shit you walked in here with. I hope you're worth the price of how much I was going to sell that for. But now it's time for you to leave. I'll see you when, or should I say, if you get back. Either you jump or you get shot when you try to run away. Don't make me shoot you, murder face. I'll be very disappointed. come from above in the great overworld you you come from above in the great overworld you are pale like us why do you come here i am mevel the oldest of the pale ones i serve the voice of the overlords in chastity like those before me ah i see the Masters deemed you unworthy of the daylight and banished you to the depths to work. I pity you. You know much of the sun. We only know darkness from birth till death. We hear the stories they tell of its marvels. The new ones like you, they don't adjust to the darkness, to the dust. They wither and die. We survive. 
You speak strange to us, new pale one. You wish to make us friends, hmm? Fine, we'll be friends with the new one. Maybe we won't eat you tonight like the last surface dweller they sent us. Mmm, a tasty morsel sent days ago. He called himself Enclave, but we called him Dinner. He didn't want to work, you see. He rebelled against the masters above, so we ate him. Now he works in us. Him? No. That is Festus. He is a green demon slaved among us long ago. He is a pale one now. He took a wife from the Voiceless many years ago and became mute like the rest of them. I speak for him now. Yes. When you take a mate here, we rip out your vocal cords. That way we can't hear you bicker. <laughs> oh, so that's why they sent you. Pity. You would have made a fine rock breaker. You will find the great beast in the far caverns. He rages in his arena where he broke free of the old machine. A blue demon protects him these days. It hides from the light. You must face it before you reach him. No. I am too old to face the beast. There are others, however. Some of the voiceless are brave. Here is the way. I have seen this device on your wrist before and once used it. I will give you the location. I bid the stones do not fall and crush your head, new pale one.
Your time has come. I will free myself of this dungeon. see me. Surprising. I expected you would at least walk past me one more time. The readers imprisoned me here and left me weakened, but it is no matter. I will complete my mission and drag you back to the father, alive or dead. Charmed, I'm sure. Do you wish to beg for your life, human? That is what you think, human. Many of us lay dead at your feet. The Nightkin, we know your name as hushed whispers of the dark. Legends of your deeds echo in our nightmares. I have been down here for five days waiting for you. There is no way out but up. I will place your back flesh in my teeth and climb out of this hole. They will not stop me this time. That is impossible. The acoustic net in the main shaft disrupts the phase resonance of my stealth boy. Of course, and my leg is injured. It requires more time to heal. Hmm. My behemoth brother is a rarity among my kind. It is a shame he suffers here, a slave of the humans. They promised they would lift you to the surface if he is dead. Then I can use the elevator to escape. They don't know about me. Behemoth is weakened by decades of starvation. He will never leave this place or know the glory of serving the Father again. I will help you destroy him out of mercy. Then we will ascend, and I will be doubly rewarded by the Father.
behemoth is dead, the raiders will allow you to ascend the main shaft. I will follow you. Confront your master, and I will crush his skull when the signal is given. No. They captured me once. Now I know their secret. I will evade Eldragon's gaze as he fixates on you. Then I will crush the essence out of him. Go now. I shall follow. So, you made it. All right. Not bad, motherfucker. I'll give you the keys to the slave barracks. You can get some sleep, eat some food, but then I have another job. Nos is waiting for you on the vertebrate platform. You're free to wander the mine, but not through the main gate. You're still my slave until you win your freedom. After this mission, it's yours. We have a deal? I don't. Only you, my friend. You're the first freak in a long time to pass one of my trials. That makes you special. But don't expect me to bend the rules. You earned your chance by impressing me with the giant. Now, you earn your pay. Relax. They're in the slave barracks. You're the leader, so that makes them your property. I didn't touch them, but I did take my cut. That weird one with the purple hair, that one is mine. The rest, free for you. That's for me to know. You haven't freed yourself yet. You want that bitch back, you pay for her. Until then, she's mine. I like her weird fucking hairdo. What can I say? I'm a sucker for the strange. Oh, and by the way, if you decide you want to sell those motherfuckers on the market, that's up to you. You can use the cash to buy your own freedom. That's what I would do if I was you. None of them were even worth my time to torture. Who the fuck are you talking to? 
What the fuck? Watch out! Someone It's... it's you. How did... Uh, no. It can't be you. I don't want it to be you. No. I don't want you to save me. Just go away. You can't be real. You're the one they tortured me for. They were trying to get me to talk about your life. They didn't care about me. They didn't care that I killed five of them before they caught me. They just wanted you. Only you. Birthdays, your name, where you came from, anything they could use to compare you to someone they kept calling the Vault Dweller. They said my tribe isn't here. That they were from the prison of 10,000 horrors. They told me I wasn't human. At first, I thought they were trying to break me, but I saw the fear in their eyes. I terrified them, but not as much as you. I don't know. They think you're a monster. Some legendary thing come to destroy them all. Maybe they're right. Maybe. They were trying to keep me alive while they tortured me. They didn't break anything important their mistake. However you got in here, it won't be safe with me. You'll have to protect us both. If you return us to the surface, there's only one way out. Straight out the main door. But if you want to kill these raiders, don't let me stop you. 
I'm sure you do. Yeah, but that will only work until we reach the quarry gate. The slave guard will want to see my face. Let's just hope your insane luck comes through. Fine, fine, show me what you got. You survived. I was confident this little detour was going to get us all killed. What happened? I'll just take your word for it. Let's go. Eat this. Come on. We only have one chance to fight our way out of here. Grab weapons and let's go. If you give me some of your psycho, I'll pay you back. I swear. something to eat. I could get a few things off your back if it's getting too heavy for you.
Okay, just try not to take my clothes. They're kind of a loose fit on you. NCR Caravan Baker to the 5th Battalion Commander. We're under attack. Repeat, we're... This is Carrie Vargas, Desert Rangers. Convoy Alpha has been taken out. Moving to assist. Rangers? Who the hell are you? What are you doing on this channel? You're under attack from Raiders. My team is also under fire. Do you want our help or not? Affirmative on assist. I don't know who you are, Vargas, but you're a godsend. What's your position? Due east along 138, about a half mile out from your position. I'm running in. Watch the East Ridge. Jesus Christ, they got aircraft! 8 o'clock high! They've got us boxed in! <laughs> 